There are so many places in this great small world. So, let's go to one, shall we? Today I decided I was going to go to the library. I have some books I have to return and I want to read some new books. The library is about 20 minutes by car, so I'm going to drive there and I want to take you with me because I want to show you what my library looks like and what you can do when you go to a library. So as they say in my own country, let's go. Do you hear the planes going? That's quite cool. I'm in between two buildings so it echoes and you can hear it on both sides. It felt like I was surrounded but there's really only one off in the distance. It's quite a beautiful sunny day today. Absolutely beautiful. Well, here's my car. We'll just have to take one trip to the library. It'll be about 15 minutes. So I'll see you then. So we're here. Uh, let's go inside, <laughs> all right? quite a far distance to walk, but I like the library so I don't mind. Here's my library. Um, over here is where we pick up the books on hold. I've got one right around here. Oh, there it is. And let's go walk around the bookshelves, shall we? <laughs> There's a lot of books here. This library has over 10,000 books. Unique books, I should say. There are some repeats. But... <laughs> there's enough books to last someone a very long time here. And they're all very different. I have recently been reading a book about constructed languages by David Peterson, who created the languages in Game of Thrones, Dothraki and Valyrian. Well, anyway, you can find a lot of things here. For example, this is a book of poems by Walt Whitman. Hundreds of pages of the most beautiful prose, just amazing literature. And I think each and every one of these books has hundreds of pages, millions of pages in one library. But maybe you just want a book about socks. There's one for that too, right here. There's a seemingly endless number of books all labeled and sorted by the author's last name. Over in the nonfiction section, they're labeled by number, which classifies what kind of work it's about. 
For instance, you can have a book about socks like I showed earlier, or you could find a book about math, or English, or poetry, or drama, or photography. There's a wall for Aldo Emerson right over there. See if you could spot that. Of course, in the library, you have to be quiet. So that's what I'm doing right here, shushing you. Hello, past Lucas. But in reality, the library's a little bit loud. And we're ready to check out. So this is the checkout kiosk. You can also do returns here. All you have to do is uh, tap the checkout button. Then you place your library card under the barcode scanner. And then I have to enter in a pin. But after that, you put all of the books you're going to check out into this little box, which scans the RFID tags on all the library books. And as you can see, they're all checking out. Isn't that great? And you can hit done and then email a receipt or maybe print one. I emailed. To return books, you just tap the return button and then take the books you want to return, place them under the same RFID scanner, and then we'll be done. Well, that was our library trip. Let's go back home.